I don't see the problem. Oh, really, really? There's no problem here at all, is there? No, you, you always said I'd fuck anything. I don't get it. Well, why is he in trouble? What? Oh, so I suppose you think why is his wife upset with him? He's just had sex with a robot. So what? So what? He cheated on her. No, he didn't. He had sex with a robot. Just because it looks like a person, it isn't a person. I don't think that's the issue. He's had sex outside marriage. No, he hasn't. He's ejaculated into a machine. It's an elaborate wank. An elaborate wank? Yeah, it's a fantasy, isn't it? The, that's not forbidden in the marriage vows. You can imprison my body, but you cannot imprison my mind. Marriage is a prison. A wonderful prison. He's only human, isn't he? That robot is ridiculously and dangerously attractive. I don't care who you are, male or female, straight or gay. If you had that robot in your house and knew you could activate its sexual functions two hours, you'd be up to her nuts. It's because it's a robot. Yeah, I got it. Listen, if you were to have sex with a robot that looks exactly like the actress Gemma Chan, I wouldn't mind at all. I'd be right there with you every step of the journey, helping you out. You wouldn't be allowed to watch. Nor would I want to. You having sex with a robot that looks exactly like the actress Gemma Chan, that's your fantasy. It really isn't. Not mine. And in turn, if I was having sex with a robot that looks exactly like the actress Gemma Chan, you would understand as well. I wouldn't be. I'd divorce you. You can't divorce me. It's just a fantasy. It's like if I were to ever use online pornography. If you were ever to use it, yeah. Yeah, if that were to happen, then you wouldn't think I was cheating on you. No, I don't mind it. Exactly. I'm sure you've got a sex toy stashed away somewhere. I don't. You've probably got a vibrator. I don't have one. That is a robot penis. I'm not going to burst in on you and go, oh, no, what's happening? Kate is having sex with a robot. Like, I'm going to have to divorce her. You'd think I was insane. No, because I don't have a vibrator. Actually, a vibrator is more offensive than a sex robot because it's like you've gone, no, mate, it's all right, no, fine. You can just chuck the rest of the robot away. I just need this. I mean... Don't get me wrong, done an amazing job. It's so intricate, so detailed, but just chuck it in a big burning bin because this is all I need. I mean, ideally, darling, if I could, I'd cut your cock off and throw the rest of you away, but I can't do that because it's against the law, so I just use this. All right. I don't have a vibrator. It's like if you came home and found me in the car with one of those plug into the cigarette lighter, lorry driver friend electric vaginas you can get. I've heard. I'd be disappointed. Sure. I'd be like, why are you doing that in the car? The neighbours will see. It's very specifically got a cigarette lighter attachment. I don't have one of those in the house, so... All right, well, can't you get an adapter or something? I don't think they do adapters that way round. They use a car thing in the house. It was very much for a, for a car, so I've got to do it. I'd have to build a dashboard of a car in the house. I think that would be odd. Can you stop using that while you're talking to me? Would you divorce me, though? Yeah, I think I would. No, you wouldn't, because it's a machine, it's not a person. What if you came home and found me in the kitchen, up to my plums in the toaster? I'd be so confused. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I'd say, I want a new toaster. Fair enough. Also, shouldn't that thing be turned on? No. Do it properly, or not at all. But you wouldn't divorce me because it's the same as the electric vagina and the vibrator. But that isn't the same as a robot, though. It is. That's what a robot is, basically. Just a load of toasters stuck together. No, it isn't.